Hello everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. Uh, a couple days ago I made a video on pie crust and strawberry rhubarb pie and I mentioned that you will usually have a little bit of leftover crust when you're done trimming the excess off the crust when you're pinching the top and bottom half together and I told you not to throw this stuff away because you can make something pretty good with it. You could of course save it up and get enough to make a pie crust but by then you've probably waited so long that the crust isn't really good anymore. So here's a nice, quick, easy thing to do with it. Now I got this little idea, or recipe if you want to call it that, from Shop Dog Sam. Make sure to check out his channel if, if you don't know about it. He's a, a fellow engine guy and a cooking guy. He has some pretty good cooking videos. And this is one of the things that I've, that I've picked up from him. I believe he calls them friendship pies. So anyway, lay out your ball of dough and roll it out. Remember, once you roll it out a little bit, peel the saran wrap off of it, both the top and the bottom piece. That way it's not as stuck together and it, it rolls out much easier. Now you want to roll this out just about the same thickness as a regular pie crust, which is about an eighth of an inch or three sixteenths. Now peel off the top layer of saran wrap and chuck that, you don't need that anymore. Now in here we'll put some filling, you can use whatever you want. You can use some sort of jam or jelly, you could use fruit, anything. I have a couple leftover strawberries, so I'm going to slice these up and put them in there. And there's not too many of them, but I don't think I'm really going to need too many. Because you don't want to overstuff this. I've made that mistake, and what happens is it just kind of falls apart. It doesn't hold itself together very well. So I'll slice these fairly thin and small. Okay, so I got all that cut up and I'm just going to prepare this just as I would a regular pie filling. This is just a little bit of sugar. Let's see, maybe uh, you got to kind of go by eye. There's no recipe because every, every piece of pie crust is going to be a little bit different and depending on what your filling is, you're going to need different amounts of sugar. But that was about two teaspoons of sugar. I think that's just about right. And I just want to orient this just right, kind of pack all the fruit together. Leave, a, leave an edge there. That's about good. Now take your crust and fold it over on top. Pinch it together. Peel it off. Then I like to kind of double roll the crust over because it, it does have a habit of coming apart fairly easily. Now the best thing I think to cook this in is a cast iron pan. I love cast iron. I didn't heat up a pan yet, so I'm going to throw this in the fridge just to keep it nice and cool, just like when we were making the pie crust, you want to keep that as cool as possible. Okay, so I have a, uh, I think this is an 8 inch cast iron pan heating up. It's nice and warm. I'm going to put a pat of butter in there. Now let's throw our pie on. There we go. Now the key to this is low and slow. I heated the pan up on a high heat just to get it hot quickly, but I have the heat down, I might even turn it down more. Maybe that's like, that's like a medium, medium low. Because it's really gonna take a while for the, the crust to cook all the way through and then cook the insides. So 
if you put it on kind of a high heat, cook it and flip it, it'll look done on the outside, but it'll be gooey on the inside, so you have to be patient. So I think about 15 or 20 minutes on each side at least. And just make sure the heat is nice and low so you don't burn it. Okay, this has been simmering for about 20 minutes or so. The underside seems nice and firm and cooked. Let's carefully get that in your spatula. I'm going to try to tilt the pan around. Get some of the butter in place. Flip it over. You can see that's nicely brown. It's going to be nice and crispy and flaky, but it's not burnt. So I'll set the timer for another about 20 minutes or so. Okay, so I think it's done on the other side. It looks nice and brown, just like this side is. So I turn the stove off, scoop it out onto a plate. Now the hardest part is waiting for it to cool down before you taste test it. Okay, we have our taste tester here. Let's see if this is any good. See, it's nice and flaky, and it's cooked all the way through, so it's not mushy. So I cooked it for long enough. It smells good. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's very good. Mm. Oh, nice and buttery. Mm -hmm. I like how where the sugar leaked out and burnt on the pan turned kind of like crispy and caramel like. Mm. Like the apple pancake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like that the strawberries are a little tart. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess you can see why it's called the friendship pie. It takes two people to eat it. Hey, hey, hey you're not supposed to fight over it. <laughs> My slice. <laughs> well, I'd say that's another success. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope that you give this a try too. If you have some spare pie dough laying around after making a delicious strawberry rhubarb pie or something else. So, uh, Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of these. Thanks for watching. Come back for more.